Welcome to a new in the mail. It's been a while since we had one on the channel. So let's get right to it with these uh, three kits. This one is a lead kit. Inside you get uh, 3mm and 5mm LEDs in uh, five different colors. I was running low on these uh, through hole LEDs. So I decided to get one of these kits and um, this way I'll have the five different colors available in two sizes uh, at any time. Next I have a, a plastic standoff kit with a black and a white nylon standoffs. Um, you've seen me use brass standoffs uh, before while building projects but nylon standoffs are a must when you need electrical insulation and instead of getting uh, one kit for black and one for white I went for this um, uh, mixed kit just to have uh, both colors and here um, I got this uh, black nylon standoff kit which also contains some uh, nylon screws I think this was the reason I ordered this one because sometimes you also need the uh, nylon screws pretty nice these days you can get uh, packs for uh, just about anything unlike 5 or 10 years ago when you had to purchase everything individually at 10 times the cost don't forget to check out the links for these in the uh, description of the video next I got uh, four different types of buzzers because I wanted to test them out and see which one has the highest output power you know I've been telling you about a uh, flying wing that I'm building well when you crash at a distance in a field it's helpful to have a buzzer to indicate the location of the crash just to find your plane more easily so I wanted a pretty powerful buzzer so I can hear it from a distance I haven't tested these yet but some of these I, I think are passive at least these uh, SMD ones so I will need to build a simple circuit to drive them Maybe I'll do a uh, video on that soon and uh, maybe also measure their uh, output with a sound meter and see which one of these uh, does have the highest output power. These are some uh, 5 volts USB LED lights. Uh, you can see how they have been uh, panelized and there is a V groove on this um, scored on these uh, PCB panels. So you can snap the individual lights just like that. It does leave a little bit of a rough edge, but you can uh, solve that with a bit of uh, sandpaper. So these uh, have uh, three white LEDs. Let's connect one of them to my power bank and see what current is pulling. So about 40 milliamps. Of course, the resolution of these uh, meters is not that great but I'm thinking uh, something under 50 milliamps for these um, uh, three LEDs maybe 15 milliamps per LED um, something like that these are nice because uh, like I've shown here you can plug them into a power bank for example to create a makeshift uh, flashlight when you need it I'll be honest with you I think I got these just because they were very cheap for a pack of 10 and I wanted to give them a try but I don't have any real need for these they look nice though and they uh, produce a decent amount of uh, light for the three small LEDs that they have on my next item is also um, LED related this is um, a LED ring intended to be used in automotive headlights um, to create that angel eye look on uh, headlights however I got it for another reason I saw this on uh, eBay or AliExpress, I don't remember precisely, but I immediately thought I, it could be used around the uh, camera lens, something like, like that, or even around my, uh, my phone to create an even light on the subject. Could be great for macro photography as well, so I'm going to give this a try and see how it improves the um, lighting here in, uh, in my setup. Fortunately, it does come with this um, very small JST connector, but I'm gonna cut that off and, um, of course, supply this with 12 volts. So it should be pretty simple to use. My next item is a uh, Wemos Plus OLED combo development board. 
I don't use the um, Wemos or ESP8266 modules very often, but I uh, saw this and I had to get one because I realized it can be really useful many times to have a, a small display attached to a development board. Even better if the display is integrated with the development board and you don't need to run any wires for the connection. I felt the need for displaying data for debug purposes many times uh, while working on projects and with this board you can easily do that. I believe the display is um, connected on I2C lines uh, with the ESP8266 and it's one of those um, 0.96 inch uh, 128 by 64 pixels OLED. The price is not bad either at around uh, $6 and uh, once again I find myself looking at these prices and thinking how things were 10 years ago when I had to purchase a development board for a minimum of 50 bucks and a small TFT display for probably another 30 or 40 dollars. I wasn't even purchasing development boards back then I was making them myself just to avoid these uh, high costs. My next item is this uh, Wi-Fi 2 UART bridge in a very tiny package. The part number is uh, USR C215B and the price is around $6 with free shipping. If only this existed 7 years ago when I built a drone controlled over Wi-Fi from a smartphone. Back then there weren't any of these uh, compact modules so what I had to use is the smallest Wi-Fi router that I could find and uh, it was the Ubiquiti mini station. It was this uh, credit card sized router. I created a bash script inside the um, router uh, operating system to bridge the physical UART port present on the board to a TCP port um, and so I did my connection between the uh, flight controller processor and the smartphone through the router over Wi-Fi. But these days you can find these uh, small and compact modules that can do such tasks very efficiently with minimal wasted power. They've also included a small patch antenna with the module, but you could use a higher gain antenna if needed. Um, you can probably connect any antenna with this uh, type of connector. I believe this is a U.FL connector. So yeah, pretty versatile module. My next item is an AD8232 ECG measurement kit. And uh, this includes the analog device's front-end amplifier on a small module with all the required passives, plus the uh, wires and uh, electrodes uh, that need to be applied on the body of the subject. I also got myself a set of these uh, disposable ECG electrodes because the kit only comes with uh, three of these and uh, I will quickly use up on these. The idea here is to connect this small module to an Arduino for example that will sample the values through the uh, ADC and transform them into something usable that can be graphed. The idea for getting this kit started after a friend of mine told me how he slept with a portable ECG medical device that recorded his heart activity during his sleep to be later analyzed by his doctor. I thought it could be interesting to try and replicate that with some low cost hardware and see what kind of results I'm getting. Not sure if I'll ever get to building this project but it's something on my to-do list one of those uh, projects that I would really enjoy working on. And as usual, links for these items will be in the description below. Next up, I have a couple of uh, chemical products used on the bench. This one is a tube of uh, green UV curable solder mask. This can be very useful when um, doing uh, low level uh, repairing, like uh, repairing a PCB track or when doing a chip level repairing. You use a drop of this to redo the protection layer. The nice thing is that it only hardens when UV cured. Not sure of the wavelength, but I need to build myself a UV flashlight and test this. Also, I need to keep it uh, away from the sunlight to avoid it uh, curing inside the tube. Next, I have some uh, conductive uh, glue paste. Also useful for doing various repairs on uh, flat flex uh, cables, maybe on membrane switches or any circuit that was originally 
deposited on a hard surface and it got interrupted. I always wanted to have a tube of this glue but never got around to buying it. So I got it now, it should be quite useful to keep in the uh, electronics lab. Next I got a pack of these uh, foam swabs, let me get a few out of the pack. This is how they look. I first saw these on the uh, Def Pump channel. He got some of these in one of his uh, mailbag videos, but be aware he does not post links to the item he gets, so you will need to do some uh, searching on your own to find them. This should be great for cleaning delicate stuff. I'm hoping they don't leave any residue, so I will uh, primarily use these for cleaning sensitive stuff like uh, lenses. Next up, I got one of these uh, technical knives. This should be a nice uh, kit with 14 different blades. This is uh, model number PD398 and it's made by a pros kit. Not sure if this is a good brand or not, or even if this is a genuine not really sure so it comes in this uh, nice uh, carry case like said uh, with 14 different uh, blades oh and it's like a, a screwdriver it's uh, practically the same handle as uh, with one of those uh, screwdrivers that you can rotate in your palm it's made out of aluminium and in here so this is the end where you place the blades and by tightening this, uh, this knot you secure the blade in place. So I think this will be a pretty useful knife on the uh, electronics bench. And I don't remember uh, it being very expensive, certainly under 10 bucks. And our uh, last item in today's video is this uh, ceramic screwdriver. This screwdriver is great for adjustment of uh, pots, variable capacitors, inductors and similar stuff. Being ceramic, it has two big advantages. First, when you adjust something on a high frequency circuit, you don't affect the tuning of that circuit. And second, it's electrically insulated, so there is no risk of uh, shorting anything or uh, risk of electrical shock. There are also high-end uh, screwdriver manufacturers that make these. We have, for example, but I don't feel like paying uh, $20 or more for a screwdriver that I'll be using maybe once a year. This was all for today. I will put links for all the items in the video description below. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you in my next video.